Hello viewers, welcome back again to our CRE class. The station you're watching is Elimu TV and your tutor is Roger Michira. Ready to take you through the topic unity of divas. Now, remember class, we did introduce the symbolic expressions of unity of believers. Then we said we have the people of God, we have the body of Christ, good, the vine and branches, the church or the assembly of God and also the bride. Now in today's class, we get to look at the body of Christ, right? What is that referred to as the body of Christ? Good. What do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss how Peter described the believers as the body of Christ. Welcome all and let us learn the body of Christ. What is that body of Christ? Now, the body, sorry, the Holy Spirit is the one who brings Christians together as one body of Christ to serve the church. Let me again take you back to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit that brought the disciples together in Jerusalem, right? Let me just get you back again the narration of the Holy Spirit. Now that the disciples were assembled in Jerusalem, they were waiting for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus. Let me just stop there. Now, the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings Christians together as one body of Christ to serve the church. Good. Christians are given gifts for the purpose of sharing the body of Christ. Christians have got different gifts. We have the gift of preaching. We have the gift of speaking tongues. We have the gift of interpreting tongues. We have the, the gift of healing. We have the gift of knowledge. We have the gift of love. We have the gift of performing miracles. Good. The gift of prophecy. All those Christians have been given different gifts. Good. And remember, in church, in church, God cannot just give you the gift of preaching. God cannot give you the gift of, uh, of, 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 of speaking tongues, of interpreting tongues, of, of, of healing. No. Right? God always distributes those gifts, different gifts, to different people. You can't claim to be having all the ten gifts in one person. No. Right? Now, Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Right? Now, and just as the body has got many parts playing different roles, so as the church. We are now looking at the body of Christ. The body of Christ. And we have said the body has got different parts. Look at your body, right? Look at, for example, look at your right hand. It has got five fingers, right? You have the, 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 the right hand, you have the left hand, right? You have an eye, you have a nose, you have a mouth, you have a leg, you have a, that, you have a tongue. Those body parts play different uh, roles, just as the church. Remember, the church has got different people. The church has got uh, the ushers. The church has got uh, uh, the in uh, instrumentalist. Those people play guitars, pianos, whatever, right? The church has got preachers. The church has got interpreters. Just as the body, the church has got different people. Uh, playing different roles. Good. And remember, those people place their roles perfectly in church, just as your, as, as your body parts. Remember, your body parts play different roles. For example, your eye. What your eye can do is not what your mouth can do. Good. Just as the body has many parts, playing different roles, so as the church. I think that point is well, well explained. And also, Every member of the church plays a vital role because different members have different spiritual gifts and callings. I will talk about that. They play vital roles. For example, can you imagine one of these fine days? Right? One of these fine days, you are attending Mass in the morning. And remember, mostly in those, those in the Catholic doctrine, you cannot uh, sing those hymns without having a pianist. Then get to imagine one of these fine Sundays, you're getting to Mass and you get... Your pianist is not, is not that. You think you get to sing those psalms. You cannot. So each and every member plays a vital role in the church. 
And also, all church activities should be directed to the welfare of the church, just as the function of the, each part of the body is necessary for the well-being of the body. Remember, the eye you are having is for the well-being of the body. Without the eye, you cannot see. Without your tongue, you cannot taste. Very good. Just as the members of the church, all the activities we do in church, they should be directed for the welfare of the church. Now, to have a united body, members should be meek and, uh, and uh, uh, sorry, to have a united body, members should be meek and patient in order to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You must be patient for you to bear the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then finally, finally, for a church to be united or to be considered, considered as one body, Christians should have faith in God and the Father. One Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and have faith in God through Jesus Christ. You can't claim to be united in the body as body of a Christians and you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You don't have faith in God. Good. Now we have we have we have, we have just looked at the body, the body of Christ, and we did say that Christ is the head of the church. Every part of the body plays a vital role just as the church members and all the activities we do in church, they should be directed to the welfare of the church for the betterment of the church. Now class, for our task, can I get to summarize the book of Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 21 to 32 and outline what it talks about the body of Christ. For reference, get to use the reference that is on our, on our screen and as always, this is a link TV your favorite learning channel. Thank you all for participating. Thank you all for attending our classes. Always get in touch with us at Elimu TV YouTube for more lessons. Thank you all and have good studies.